good morning of the day number 17 and i wish i would say hey guys look how beautiful it is it is very beautiful but i didn't have at all any sleep tonight because uh you know that's it was two and a half hours of an air raid alarm and every time it happening it actually it was all over ukraine today it was like the longest and uh, i got notifications on my phone and i wake up and i message my parents and i've messaged my friends and they're all sitting in these bunkers i don't know how many nights in a row they're not sleeping i don't know how physically body can i don't know adjust to that or like survive in this situation um i i told my parents to get some food to our older family member because like they say that odessa will be cut off from everything soon and mom said that she had like an ear infection and like she was not able to buy any medicine like it's just very difficult to find uh, all the pharmacies are almost empty it is really shocking and i absolutely hate everything that is going on in my country i don't know what should happen to make it stop but definitely change like will change all of us all ukrainians but we have to help others as well people who are coming here to europe poland is overload moldova is overload people start to asking in moldova like they don't even have money for gas now the people volunteers who've been helping so we need to do something that we can to support these people just do it with the trusted contacts and uh, just keep moving but i want to go home listening the news of the of the business community they usually have the latest update and try to organize our stuff it's we've moved to a new apartment today they, moved from the third they kicked us out to they kicked us out they said get out go down there so. because it was so noisy yeah we had too many parties it's crazy out there in the penthouse so now we're just going to do this then we're going to go to valencia which yeah, is an I hour promise, away yeah i promised max to go to the zoo and we'll see because i want to stay there so we need to find a place to stay for a month and then come back to Odessa. promise promise somebody who is like reliable and Libra safe is, um, maybe there's helping like a private car that you friends, can take because like to go um, on a big bus it's kind of like not super get there, safe even your friends it near the circle, uh, even fiancés and, and also helping them expedite uh, and, uh, these visas but uh, she so she's been doing that pretty much non-stop every day. Like so she's been working on trying to get them transported out of the cities and then working with the embassies as well. It's all go. This is how we make tea. Tea life we call it. Guys, we're in this beer park and did you know that Striker know how to talk to elephants? Mm. I'm gonna have a co private conversation with this one, I hope. Uh huh. He really was far away and he just came. Uh oh. So today is day 19. 19. It's Sunday. Our videos are getting a little bit out of sync because our internet here is so terrible. Um, so we may miss a few days or something. But uh, this, uh, the phone is sitting on a giant cactus. I will show you. Um, so uh, today we're just going to uh, have a walk around this area here. It's actually really nice. It's like there's a beach like people surfing there, which is surprising to me. Um, and try and find a better area that's more convenient for us. There has some shops and some things that we can sort of find a little, what do you call it? 
some convenient. good infrastructure. Yeah, that's convenient for us. Because uh, at the moment it's not very convenient. And maybe find something for maybe a month, but it is, it, what? The lady behind us thought that you're talking to the cactus. I was. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, try and get, <laughs> it does look like it. Everyone's looking at us talking to the cactus. Um, and try and find something that's convenient. Basically, that's what we're going to try and do. It's Sunday. Nobody works on Sunday. Everybody's having siestas really or whatever. It's really cute, like here, like the siesta and the weekends. Like nobody answers their phones, nobody responds to anything. So we would like to find the property to be able to rent for a month. Uh, but in Spain, it seems like a bit tricky. But we're still hoping that we will find our temporary home. They want to rent it for half a year or a year, but we don't want to do that because we want to go back home. Yeah, let's go. Under your <laughs> yeah so we've just been walking and we've just been thinking about what we're gonna do you know because obviously our businesses in uh, Ukraine are uh, frozen for now as you know hopefully we can go back uh, to it so we're just thinking like other things that we can do to obviously as a job I suppose and I don't know we're just exploring options um, how we can combine our skills into something else I mean I have other businesses uh, in other countries so running businesses in other countries is not a problem and you know I know how to build websites I know e-commerce quite well um, so we're just thinking you know maybe like while we're here building something small in another country that can generate some sort of income you know I guess it's something that everybody who's left Ukraine is thinking about you know so in some sense we are fortunate that we can do that uh, Libra obviously speaks very good English uh, and we you love, uh, yeah, my English is good. <laughs> Sorry about that. We uh, recently employed a, a nine year old cameraman, and halfway through that video, he decided that he wanted to quit. So, <laughs> that's hard. That's, he wanted to take his jacket, wanted to take his jacket What's off. The problem? He did it without warning, too. But <laughs> I mean, sometimes you get this with these, with these, uh, these young workers. Anyway, so what we were talking about is like, um, you know, there's. A lot of people that have like been displaced and going around to you know going over to these countries like Poland I think has like two million that's crossed the borders by now and it's, obviously it's going to go up. What is everybody going to do? You know, can these countries hold uh, all these people? You know, and what are these people who, you know, probably many of them had good prestigious even jobs such as doctors and lawyers and things like that. What are they going to do in these other countries? Are they just going to have to find whatever work they can? Um, how will they make money, you know? All these things that you never really think about there. You never ever think about these things. And you know, now you sort of have to, you're in the position where you're thinking, well, you know, what comes next? You know, for us, you know, I feel fortunate that, you know, Luba and I are pretty versatile in what we can do. So, but, you know, I feel for the people that, you know, maybe not so in that position. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Like, there's a lot of Ukrainians all over the world now helping others, like, to find some jobs, like, some resume. They're creating the website for that. It's very difficult because even the lady who is, uh, like, was staying in Airbnb and I saw that she was cleaning the next one apartment, she speaks Russian, she's from Ukraine, and she moved here 20 years ago, and all she achieved here, uh, even she said that she was a, a teacher uh, in Ukraine, so she's just cleaning apartments, and it's the best what she can do. Uh, mm -hmm. I guess, you know, maybe if she was, like, from some countryside or something, like, it's better paid and it's better climate like it's very nice here the winters are warm but still you know it's a shame that people with a good education unfortunately overseas can't find any any legitimate uh, not legitimate like any prestigious i would say yeah uh, kind of work and we met a lot of ukrainian speaking people who lives here like russian speaking even at school where about max uh, they said that there's like a couple of uh, families from uh, russia ukraine i mean now for me i still can't really separate and i don't want to separate it uh, because it's like russian speaking uh, people and i hope that you know we will find somebody who, and also like you know what i don't like here i will tell the mentality of ukrainian people sometimes in these ukrainian communities that they always keep saying that everything is impossible everything mm. is too difficult everything is impossible and striker was accusing me that like when we've been back in ukraine that sometimes he was having some idea and like no 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 we can't do it we can't do it and now I kind of like in this position also when I hear that I can't like it's not possible when I hear that it's like we can't do it this really like motivate me more and everybody's like here super chilled like because of these CS they're not really working much they kind of like don't give a shit 
you know, they don't really care much. And I want to change that if I can. I want to be able to help. And if somebody needs help, I want to say, yes, no problem. We will be able to do it. We can do it. We will find. Not like everybody talk to us. No, a partner for one month? Impossible. No, don't even start looking. No, it's impossible. Yeah. Find this what you need? No, 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 it's impossible. So this is what I want to try to fix while we're here by helping others and just giving them idea that everything is possible. What they say? No, these people like that we met from Canada, they said it's like super cheap uh, to stay, but it's like 200 euros for tonight. Uh, but it has two meals included. No, they don't know anybody. They don't know anybody who can rent a place. Uh, and the hotel looks nice. And also they said that the prices are super crazy now because of these fires. And then after fires will be Easter. So I have no idea what to do. Uh, interesting uh, place we've just uh, arrived at. People are just sitting around and just drinking and eating what looks like to be their own food. And people are just lighting these fireworks everywhere. They burn all this at the end of the, in the end of next weekend. Seems like a bit of a shame. Final thoughts of the day today is that Spain is a little bit more difficult than I guess we first anticipated. You know, uh, in terms of finding accommodation on the short term. You know, and we're not looking for any handouts or anything like that. You know, there are people that actually really need, um, you know, actual assistance in, in a lot of countries. You know. Uh, but just in generally, like just even if we were just on vacation here and we said we want to rent a place at this time of year for one month, it's really very difficult to do. They want like three months, you know. Minimum that you need to show them the contract, you need to show them like that you have income. And uh, they kind of like not really, like they care that you're Ukrainian. They ask you, they may be like, uh, say, oi, oi, like it's so bad, but not really that they would kind of like, you know, assist or help yeah. or we understand. Because in um, Spain, they have a law. Uh, it's called um, occupati, and it's like, I think it's like occupation in English. So it means that the people can stay and like, uh, they can go to an apartment and then they, uh, nobody can kick them out. Like the, even the police, like if they say we don't have money, they can, uh, they should keep it. But anyway, like we will figure it out about us, uh, about us, uh, you shouldn't yeah. worry. Uh, but uh, like the good thing about today is that we found this website with the, um, uh, uh, with the hotels like five nights hotels and if you know somebody because like a lot of our clients are really like assisting a lot even the guy from canada he helping us like uh, other people in in germany and in france like they have big community people who wants to help so if you have accommodation if you know somebody at the hotel if you know uh, if you have any job offer please list them on this website we're going to put them in description below like first is the document with all the important resources second is like i can send you the link of the website that you can list uh, um, job offer and the third Third one is that it's a list where you can uh, put, for example, if you're running the hotel or you know somebody, they can edit there and they, if they will, they can give uh, five nights uh, for free for people who are really in trouble, have no money, and they, it will help them a lot. Yeah, if you've got any links or anything like that, because a lot of the stuff is getting sent to us, you know. Yes, because, because there's just, much, it, a lot of information. and. Yeah, it's difficult to find online, but people are sending it to us. We're checking with other people to see if it's legit and all that sort of stuff. And so... We um, are going to put the links underneath our uh, um, videos, but also in Telegram as well. We're posting, so we're going to be posting some stuff in there as well. So join the Telegram group. Um, but yeah, basically with us, it's like we're sort of not at a dead end. Like we have to wait. It's Sunday today, so we have to wait till Monday because here, I don't know, Everything people are just so incredibly relaxed. So we have to wait till Monday and see if people are going to return our messages. Um, you know, but we're not dire straits or anything like that, you know, at the end of the day. It's like there are a lot of worse off people out there. We used to sleep in the car, so... We slept in the car a couple of times and that, that wasn't, that wasn't that bad. 
Yeah, it will start picking up artichokes from the street, from the floor. So I think that we will survive. And oranges, like because in Spain there is a lot of orange trees and on the street, the, on the street and like everywhere. And of course, we were like craving to try it. It's like it's super bitter. It's like I think that any local would ever pick it up. It's like you know, if you were a kid and you put a nine volt battery on your tongue, that's what eating an orange off a street off a tree street is tree. like. Yeah, but that's us anyway. So um, yeah, not really a huge thing to report other than what we've said already in this video here, but just sharing our thoughts and I don't know, maybe it's interesting, maybe it's entertaining. Um, but you know, hopefully there's some information that we can sort of get and we can help people coming to uh, to Spain. I mean, if any other any other country has its own issues, Moldova, uh, Romania, they're all being overloaded with what's They're overloaded. The like if any of your friend wants to go there, just tell them like it's better to go somewhere else because I think other countries can help a lot much more. Like Poland is just like there's no places, there's no rooms. Yeah. Other, but if you need any help, just message us and we will try to connect you with other people who can assist you all over the Europe. Yeah. That's it for today and we see you tomorrow. Good night.